In this video, I'm going to show you the new features in the latest version of my Doc Finder. My previous video grew up with a ton of views and likes and now I'm back with even more exciting updates. Plus, stay tuned to the end of this video to know how you can get my Doc Finder for free. So let's get started. When we right click on our Doc, we have preferences which we can go into it and see all the new features my Doc Finder comes with. And the first thing we are going to see on the general tab is that they've added a new shortcut to hide or show your taskbar which is very nice so anytime you are doing something which you need your windows taskbar you can just click on a shortcut and it's very easy to create you can just click on it to choose the one you like so i'll just go with shift and also choose t for make it uh, show my taskbar so anytime i click on shift plus t i'm going to see my windows taskbar pop up and it's very easy to adjust. The next two thing is that you can modify your Google font by scaling it in out with this drop bar and it's very smooth and beautiful. Now, let's move to one of my favorite feature they've added to my dog finder and you can find it on the screen tab. Here, if you are having multiple displays, you are going to see all the displays over here. And the display I'm using to record the screen right now is this one. And what this screen does is it creates a rounded corners on your screen. So if I zoom in, you are going to see that my screen has been very rounded. I just want to go it below here and adjusting it to 24 looks more nice and beautiful for my screen. So you can give your windows a rounded corners, which will make it very beautiful and material like design. The next new feature they've added is in the stage manager tab. And here they've added a new nice features to it, which wasn't part in the previous version. And it makes this stage manager more nice and professional so the new feature they added to it is that you can just create a shortcut for the stage manager so i've created shift plus q to open the stage manager or close it so if i don't want the stage manager anymore i can just click on shift plus q to hide it and you are going to have the windows normal minimizing feature on your windows and if you want to go with the stage manager you can just click on shift plus q again to show it and now if you don't want to have it you can just go with this and it's amazing and if you are having multiple display they've added some new features to it and here this is the display i'm recording the screen so we can adjust the windows list style as default we can also increase the icon spacing and they are all default features that were inside but has been improved so let's move to my top feature they've added to my dog finder if added this windows animation features to my doc finder and it's pretty cool so if you open any window you can just create a window opening animation which will show whenever you open a window on your computer and we also have a windows closing animation so what we can do is to choose one of the animation which is going to look smooth for us so i'm just going to go with this larry one which looks more nicer and here what we can do is we can adjust the animation speed and i'm going to go with point two point one point two five, which is a bit faster and here we can just add apps we want to exclude what you have to do in order to hide them is just open the app and you are going to see it over there and just choose the app to add it to the blacklist so that so that it doesn't show the opening and closing animation so when you want to set a closing animation you can also set it here all you have to do is to turn on this closing animation and just select the animation you like so i'm just going to go with this one and just see if it works so i'll just hide this one and open a new window to see if the animation works and that's it you saw the blur in animation and if i close it right now you are going to see that closing animation so feel free to choose the one which will be nice for you so that you like it so let's move to the next feature when we look into the loop and behavior in my doc finder we have a new moving effect which are very nicer than this scaling effect so when i click on it the first one is illumination and it just lights your icons and this is not what i think is nice if you want a more nicer one you can just go with the select and light and when you select it, it just light your background. And there are a lot of things you can adjust here. To reduce the light intensity of the icon, you can just reduce it with this one. So I'll just go with 45 where right here and you can see it. it has reduced the light intensity. And my favorite one is adjusting the background intensity. So 
I just want to go with something like 56 and you are going to see my background light. We can also adjust the color of our background intensity. So this is for the red. I can just push in the red and green and it's going to give us a white light color, which is this. If you want to go with something more like red or something, then you can reduce these two greens and the reds to make it more like red. So I'll just reduce this two and we are going to see that my background is going to look red and it's nice. But that's not what I want. My windows background is green so I'll just go with a green color to make it more green and beautiful. So the next feature they've improved on is at first when you select the add icon and start menu plus the desktop icons you were having some issues breaking your my dog find that now it has been solved and you can just use that one and you'll be able to see all your icons with the windows and start menu desktop icons over there and they are pretty cool so you can just select it and restart your dog finder and you are going to see that it has been changed so now if i launch my launch pad you are going to see that a new icons has been added to it which a small spot and beautiful so let's move to the next feature the next new feature they've added can be found in the minimize effect now they've added a new animation called sack and it's pretty beautiful than the Gemini we used to use so when i choose this sack when i minimize anything we are going to see some sack like animation which looks more beautiful so you are going to have this animation which is more like it's sucking the thing from the dark end when I choose skill, you can see that it's skill in the thing and skill out and we also have the default Jedi one which was our favorite but now we have sack. So when I minimize it, we are going to see this Jedi but I think the sack is more beautiful than Jedi so I'll just go with the sack and this is beautiful. So as usual, we can also adjust the maximum speed and the rest and you can feel free to look through and see the default features it comes with. Now, now there are some new features they've added to the finder on the top and I don't find it a deal breaker because they are not big features. But one new thing they've added is that you can also create your custom clock and dates over here. So for instance, if I want to create my own custom clock which is not inside this and I find pretty cool, I can just check this one and also create my own. So I can just bring Huawei for here and break that. And maybe if I want the day, I can bring DD for day. And you are going to see it in real time on top of your finder. And one thing I want to do is to just add my name over here, which is going to show my name. And that's it. You can see my name has been retained here and it's also cool. So feel free to look through and let me know what you think about this feature. So these are the new features my dog finder came with and I think they have done a really good improvement on it and also you can feel free to let me know what you think in the comment below and don't forget to subscribe if you really like it. Now to get my dog finder on your computer all you have to do is to head to the telegram group discussion in the description below just join and what you can do is to just type hashtag my dog finder and click on enter and here what you are going to see is that my dog finder will be available for you with a password below so i'll just click on this one to copy the password and click on this to open when this zip file is open i can close my telegram channel and just create a folder so what i recommend you do is to head to your windows explorer and go to look at this and here just right click here and create a new folder called tricks so once we've created a folder you can just open it up and here you can also create a folder called my doc finder so i'm just going to create my doc finder so once i have this folder i can just copy all the files inside here and drag it into it so they are going to ask me for the password and i'll just paste the password i copied and click on okay once all the files are being copied here you can just double click on 64.txt to start so i'll double click on it just click on allow and that's it you have my dog finder on your computer and there are some few little changes you have to change right after installing it and you can just change them in the preferences so i'll click on preferences and it will open my dog finder preferences so the first thing you can change over here is to head down here and you are going to see the start on boot and what i recommend you do is to click on start as a service 
so that it will automatically start right after you started your computer and here is asking us to automatically hide the windows taskbar and i'll just check it to hide it 